Hi there, this is Adrian from Rumify, and I'm back with another screencast about bookable entities everywhere, or B. We're excited this week because we've come out with some new functionality in B, and that's um, periodically available bookings. And so what does that mean? It's good for things like tour groups and classes, anything where you don't have something like a room that's generally available or available during office hours. So let's go ahead and get started. I've created a site on simplytest.me with the alpha three release of B and gone ahead and enabled it. So let's go right into starting with a content type. So what we're gonna do today is show you how to set up a bookable content type for classes. So we will create a new content type and we'll just call it class. And for a description, we'll say, well, classes. And we'll leave the default settings in place. And we're going to say, make this entity type bookable. We're gonna do flexible bookings because we're talking about you know, hour long classes. And instead of generally available, we're going to say periodically available. So this is things like tours, even open mic nights, classes, and we'll save this. So let's go ahead and set up a class. So we'll go to content and create a node. And we're going to do a class. So we'll just say advanced yoga and we'll say that this is a small group class and we're going to show you how to set up multiple units with this node so that you can let more than one person book into the class so we're going to go ahead and edit this node and we'll expand the b set and we'll add one more unit so that two people can book into any class. So added the unit, we'll save the node, and now you'll see that there are two units available. So let's go ahead and set up class times. So we'll go over to the availability tab. And as I expand the update availability section, you can see that we have a neat new feature where you can repeat events. So we're gonna make an available event and we'll go from one to 2 p.m. on Wednesdays. So we'll start today, go from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. And we're gonna go ahead and repeat this event for the summer. So we'll go until September 1st. And we don't want it daily, but instead weekly. So now I say update availability. And we can see we've got our class today. And if we look at the month view, we can see that it's happening every Wednesday. And we'll go up until September and see that now we don't have any more. So now if we view the node, then we can go ahead and look at creating reservations for a class. So if we look at, let's see, when's next Wednesday? So that's May 2nd. We can go ahead and create a booking for next Wednesday. Normally, you know, this would be another user, but I'm keeping this quick and we'll say five, two. And so we'll start out, I'll show you, I try and go from three to 4 p.m. I'm gonna get this message that there's nothing available at that time. And obviously like, uh, if you're building a site with this, then you'd probably want to create a custom availability widget that pulls the available, the available times and shows them to people. So let's go ahead and make the booking for the class time. And we'll add a reservation. And now we can see that on the second, that one person is booked into the class and there's still one available slot. So if I add another reservation, for next week. And the class is now fully booked. And if I try to add one more, 
then I'm going to get the same error that there's no, nothing available for that time. Okay, that's the periodic availability functionality in a nutshell. I'd like to thank Solutions Network for sponsoring this development. Uh, it's cool to work on this with them, and we've got some functionality we're building for them based on this that I hope to be able to share with you at some point. If you're interested in uh, add, helping add some functionality to be uh, something that'd be useful for your organization, then please feel free to get in touch with us. Just come over and to Roomify to us and say contact Roomify. So thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and I hope this has been useful.